Want to know how to get infinite diamonds? Or what the absolute best way to farm is? Here are 295 super secret Minecraft things you probably didn't know. Did you know you can push the Ender Dragon through an end gate into the overworld? You need this big apparatus and a simple flying machine. There's a way to push the dragon into an end gate, which will spawn a dragon in the overworld. Watch the chaos for as long as you can before the server takes revenge with a ban. Trick everyone into getting trapped on the nether roof. It's easy. Just break the portal in the nether and remake it on the roof. It's nearly impossible to get back down from there, especially when you break the portal once people have walked through. You won't be able to get off the roof either, but who cares? You're getting banned anyway. Fill the server with mobs that won't add to the mob cap. Endermen holding blocks, zombie villagers, vexes, shulkers, and all sorts of others don't have a limit. If you gather enough of them, it'll lag the server to a crawl. Have you seen this bowl? Looks pretty normal, but it's actually a super rare item. It's dropped when a turtle is struck by lightning. A super rare event. What's weirder is that this wasn't a glitch or random choice. Someone at Mojang made sure this happens in the game's code, and I have no idea why. However, there's actually an item Mojang doesn't want you to find. This leather tunic with an efficiency one enchantment should be impossible, but because of a crazy glitch, it can be found in some woodland mansions behind a secret wall. Even crazier, the item there used to be a leather helmet. I wonder what it'll turn into next. This large fern is weirder than it looks, and with a rarity rate of 0.3%, this one's pretty rare. You actually can't get these in the wild. She has cut large ferns into two regular ferns, so the only place to find whole ones is in a chest in a tiger village. I wonder what else they're hiding. Pros are always trying to take the best photos. Here's some simple tips and tricks. Turn your FOV down to around 30. This makes much less distortion and keeps the focus on the subject. And make sure to have a little something interesting in the background and foreground, as long as it isn't distracting from the subject. Get the most out of your tools by using them efficiently. With a pickaxe, you need to dig at its maximum range. This gives you enough space to walk forward and dig without stopping, and lets you break blocks faster than you would otherwise. Did you know in recent Minecraft versions, you can actually clutch without any items? All you need to do is hit crouch and space just before landing. And voila, I'm alive! One thing only pros know is if you push yourself into the end portal from underneath with a piston, you won't spawn on the main end island, and instead will spawn at your overworld coordinates in the end, which can make tons of super deadly traps. Soul Sand already slows your player down a ton, but adding ice below will make you move even slower. But there's a way to be even slower. Cobwebs! You now have the slowest floor known to man. But if you're fast enough, you can actually use a bow and arrow to break minecarts and boats to troll your friends. Just make sure you got good aim, or you might just pull a JF Kennedy. And while we're at it, did you know evokers can turn blue dyed sheep into red dyed sheep? Yeah, pretty wild. Who knew they hated blue? Stock up on boats so you can cross any body of lava, including lava columns. If you put a boat into the lava, you have a split second to jump off it before it breaks. Leap forward and put another boat down to continue across the lava until finally you reach your friend's base. Did you know you can actually do a super jump with just a flint and steel? Set fire to a block and jump into the fire. Jump again as you take damage and the impact will propel you a little higher, letting you jump two and sometimes three blocks high. No fence can stand in your way. Disguise yourself in deceptive Minecraft skins. Some of these are banned in many servers, but if you dress to look like the blocks the base is made of, you can blend in and sneak in behind your friends as they walk through the front door. Curing zombie villagers takes way too long, but did you know that you can speed this up? It turns out there's a secret mechanic where plating 14 iron bars or seven beds within a space of four blocks around the villager speeds up the curing process. Withers are a terrifying enemy with their deadly projectiles, but there's actually a secret trick that Minecraft has been hiding. If you set up four armor stands around you, they will take the hit from the wither skulls, receiving very little damage and protecting you completely. The new skulk blocks spread quick, but secretly there's a special tag that decides what can change into skulk and what can't. It turns out slabs can't change. You can use them to write secret messages or act as markers among the spreading skulk. With 1.20 now here, the new deep dark biome brought a bunch of secrets. This includes making the gold hoe one of the best tools in the game. It breaks skulk blocks faster than any other tool. And add that to the fact that it has the longest melee reach of any weapon, and the hoe has become a necessary item in your inventory. Explosions can send things flying! But if you use it too much, something crazy can happen. If you set this up, you can fill the minecart with TNT and blast a mob across the world. But if it goes too far, too fast, it'll reach an unloaded chunk and stop dead in the air, frozen in space. It'll only fall when you head over to load the chunk. Inside the house is a huge bed that lets you sleep under the covers in this genius hack. Surround your bed in trapdoors and make a larger frame, and cover the top of your beds with carpet. Hanging signs are a fun recent addition. You can use them to make an innovative, if scary looking bridge. What's amazing about this is that players can walk on it, but a lot of mobs will fall through the gaps. You can also use the hanging signs to make a broken bridge. This can hang off the side of a cliff for a fun and foreboding decoration to a castle 
castle or village. A secret stairway can be a great feature for your house. And all it takes is some redstones and some sticky pistons connected to your stairs in this crazy tray. The backs of the stairs will blend in with the rest of the wall until you turn the handle and expose it all. This secret ender pearl technique lets you phase through walls and can even get through the roof of the nether. Climb a ladder up to the bedrock ceiling, pearl into the bedrock and keep going forward. Your phase through the top. In Minecraft, there's a secret world called Debug World. To find it, you have to press shift and click on the world type button. Press it enough and you'll find Debug World, which is a fast void filled with every single asset in the game. Do your friends love jumping from high places into water? Replace the water with blue tinted glass. From afar, it looks identical. You're just hilarious watching the server owner fall to their death because of it. Until you get banned, of course. To face new players with the curse of binding. If you put a dispenser and a pressure plate at world spawn, any new player will activate it when they spawn. Fill it with pumpkins cursed with binding so they can't take it off. It's an awful welcome for new players that the server owner will despise. Most servers hate spam, and even Mojang have rules against it. But what if you just love Minecraft story mode a whole lot? Type out the whole script for Minecraft story mode into chat and see how long it takes for people to ban you for spamming. Frogs! Look at them! All cute and tan. Oh, but I want a red green frog! To get them green, you actually have to become their dad. Grab a tap bowl in a bucket, take it to a cool biome, and put them in a pool and watch them grow up green. Oh, and don't let the pool freeze over. My babies! Speaking of rare water creatures, axolotls come in many colors, but one you'll never see in the wild is the legendary blue axolotl. This super rare creature can only be found through breeding and has a 1 in 1,200 chance of spawning. So you better have plenty of tropical fish to feed them. But how about the rarest ore in the game? Deep Slate Emerald Ore is actually very hard to find with a 0.15% chance to regenerate. It only appears in mountains and windswept hills and only at depths that both emeralds and Deep Slate appear. Be sure to mine them with a silk touch pick so you can show your friends a super rare find. Want to make a huge tower that's near unbreakable? Here's a super fast way of doing it. Make the outline of your tower at the height you want the tower to be. Put lava pouring off the sides and then pour water from atop that. Remove the water and you've got a near impenetrable fortress. You need to know where you're digging and what you want out of it before starting your journey. If you want diamonds, consult this chart. It shows you that diamonds start generating at Y16 and get more and more common the further down you go, with the most appearing right at the bottom of the world. Use ravines! It's a trick that all pros know because you don't need to waste time digging a hole when one has already been made for you. There's a greater chance of getting lost, sure, but you can dive right down and find exposed rare ones without using a pickaxe once. And if red isn't your favorite color, harming potions are super useful for taking out those dreaded mobs or enemies. But when it comes to zombies, these potions actually heal them. I suppose they're dead anyway. So if you want to kill a zombie, throw a healing potion at them to damage them instead. Nice attention to detail, Mojang. Turns out locking is easier than you think. As you can add a glass pane to a map to lock it, meaning it won't update if anything changes. This can be great for documenting the progress of your base over time, or creating a permanent design of an upside down T. If you bring bottles with you to the end fight, you can actually pick up the purple particles the dragon shoots at you. These are called potions of dragon's breath, and can be used to craft tipped arrows or lingering potions. I just wish you'd brush first. Spawn a wither to help you break in. The wither's attacks can destroy almost any block in Minecraft. So lure it to your friend's base and watch it make massive holes even in obsidian walls. Jump in and take their stuff. Use their XP farms against them. If it looks like this, then the bottom of the farm will often end up inside their base because it's more convenient for them. Climb into the top of the XP farm. It'll be funneled down to the bottom and you can break out into the heart of their base. This pig can walk through walls. If you ride a pig up to the wall of the base and then get off it, you can hit the pig and the brief damage reaction will nudge the pig a tiny bit into the wall. Quickly ride the pig and it will continue going forward, letting you ride right through the wall. Don't worry about punching your pig either. Just means free bacon in your friend's house. What if the base is hidden or has a secret entrance you just can't figure out? If you know the general area the base is, just eat a chorus fruit. It can teleport you to some crazy places, including through solid walls, ignoring the secret entrance completely. Use this flying hack to make your minecart soar. The secret is to spawn a bee with a minecart riding on top of it. The minecart cart is still rideable, so if you turn the bee invisible, it'll look like you're flying by magic. Did you know you can walk on water? Upside down and backwards using this hidden trick. Grab an elytra, then dive into the water, and hold the space bar to lift to the surface, and hold back. You'll moonwalk underwater. I'm wearing a full set of armor right now, but it's fully invisible! Prank your friends by putting in this command, which makes your armor completely see-through. This fire will never go out on its own. If you have a picture frame with an item in it, you can shoot the item with a flame bow. It creates a flame in the item's place, meaning 
it'll stay there as a decoration forever. Fences work great to hold in animals. So this genius hack uses trapdoors to trap creatures without you having to work at all. Mobs don't realize that you can hop over a trapdoor on both sides. And so once they've hopped over one side, they can't go back, getting stuck in your perfect little pen. Upside down buildings and trees are great fun, but this lets you have animals there too. Use the dinner bone name tag trick on an animal and leash them to a post five blocks above the upside down door. And they'll stand on that floor just like the other decoration. This sneaky little trick lets you copy a structure you've made and paste it wherever you like. Create a grand statue and fill your friend's world with your monstrous art. Ward off hoglins with just a funny little mushroom. These hulking pig beasts are terribly afraid of the warped fungus. No idea why, but at least it keeps them away from my pet strider. This portal makes no sense! It's a portal spawned in only one seed so far. And for some reason, the end portal is totally glitched. It generated with six eyes already in and somehow created a portal that only covers six blocks. Convince people to press F3 and C. Everyone knows some F3 inputs, like the debug screen, but holding down F3 and C crashes their game completely. Do it to the right person and they'll get so mad, they'll beg for you to be banned. Hacks are a classic way to get banned in any game. There's a whole bunch of aimbots even for the newest updates of Minecraft. So take your pick and dominate PvP until the inevitable banhammer comes crashing down. Start a raid in the server's favorite village. If you kill a pillager captain, you'll get a bad omen, which will spawn a raid when you get to the village. Get as many bad omens as you can for an extra deadly raid that will wipe out the server's poor innocent villagers. If the server has a huge rail system, find an obscure section in the middle and direct it off into a death trap. It's almost impossible to see when you're going so fast, so they'll be dead before they know it and will have to check tons of railing to find the one block you changed. But if that doesn't impress your friends, blast them with these rare screaming goat horns. Goats will round players or other mobs, and if they miss and hit a tree, their horns can break off and be used as musical instruments. Horns from screaming goats are extra rare and can't be found any other way. This rare portal is actually a block that you can pick up and drop wherever you want. You need a silk touch and a lot of luck. But if you use this machine to push you as you mine this flower, you could end up mining the actual portal itself. Drop it in the end and you can teleport straight back home, along with anything else that touches the portal. Lightning striking the same place twice is almost impossible. But with some of the rarest items in the game, particularly the trident, you can make this infinite lightning machine where every bounce makes another strike for a crazy light show. Get efficient! Pros love efficiency, and if your pick doesn't have mending or unbreaking, then they'll love it too. Have a central hub with your chest where you start mining from. Then mine out in branches, three blocks apart from each other. Most ore veins are big enough that those branches will expose them as you mine. You might have heard that one before, but pros know about new tech that recently got added to the game. Use a trapdoor to force yourself to crawl into a one block space. Now you only need to mine that one block space in front of you, crawling forward as you go. It's way easier and faster. Climb mountains with speed by using water buckets to scale cliffs. You can pour water many blocks above your head and climb up that rather than digging and jumping your way up there. But as it turns out, Mojang might want to brush past some older Minecraft snapshots too. As in an old snapshot, you could actually grow furnaces? By using a command to spawn a pumpkin with an impossible growth phase, a furnace would grow out of the ground underneath it. Shulkers can be super annoying when they hit you with their levitation balls. Trust me, I know. But these balls can actually hit other mobs as well, causing them to fly high into the sky. Who knew their balls were so powerful? Not me. Uh, definitely not me. Everyone knows that if you name a sheep Jeb, it will turn rainbow. But most people don't know is that you can actually name a rabbit Toast to unlock TOAST! Okay, not really, but it does have a secret texture. It's a reference to a developer's old pet. And although it's not exactly rainbow, at least this guy has meaning, it's common knowledge that dispensers can't place blocks. But did you know that dispensers are actually able to place blocks if it means they can summon a golem or the weather? Dispensing a carved pumpkin on top of two snow blocks will create a snow golem, just as if you place the block there. A pretty cool way to win a bet and scam your friends out of their hand-earned diamonds. Oh, we'll just do it for fun. But come on, who does that? Wait until night. That's light coming through from the inside. You'll pass right through into the base. Make your own redstone mechanism to open it. And activating a redstone block against the door. Then use that as a way in. By taking the overworld coordinates of the base by eight. 
giving you a back door into the protected fortress. Get high-grade weaponry for your very own gunboat by trapping a guardian in it. You can exploit this because a guardian will attack anyone unless they're in the boat. You can drive it towards your friends and watch them run in fear! Taunt a ravager with this secret exploit by building a four-block tower. Force yourself to lay down using a trap door above you, and now you're close enough to hit the beast while it flails uselessly at you. Trap a gas and you can use this super illegal fireball technique. If you stand at the spot where the gas attack will start, it actually doesn't hit you, and you can then punch it wherever you want. Troll your friends by raining fire down upon them. This genius hack means this water will not spill out of its little space. It looks like nothing's stopping it, but it's actually the glow lighting on the sides here that completely stops the water flowing out. It blends into a room so much better than a sign does too. Make a near invisible elevator using humble leather boots. Basically, if you have a white room, you can put powdered snow instead of a wall and use leather boots to climb up it, making your new elevator near invisible. Carpets can hide a lot of things. Hide a redstone block underneath the carpet and it will still activate when you step on it, which can then open up all sorts of contraptions without making noise like a pressure plate would. Minecarts can fit almost any mob, including sniffers, ravagers, and even guests. That's a hell of a visitor when you send it down the rails to your friend's home base. Ever feel like a zombie horde is never ending? That's because it might be. Anytime you hit a zombie, it will look around and try 50 times to spawn a new zombie. It only has up to a 10% chance to succeed though, unless it's a leader. Then it goes up to a 75% chance of spawning the horde. Be careful where you put your beehives. If it's too close to the ocean, any bee that strays over the water can very quickly get disoriented and will eventually fall in and drown. People have lost entire bee colonies this way, so stay safe. Play on the side of the hostile mobs. You can throw armor at mobs and they'll wear it. Steal armor from the other players and keep giving it to the enemies to make them an unstoppable force. It is illegal to sell or buy accounts to other players, so why not tell everyone you're doing just that as much as possible? until someone runs off to tell Mojang what an evil person you are. Duping items is an incredibly difficult thing to do on a server because all the item information is kept on a server's computer. But some places have exploitable weaknesses. A server that has its own spawn and teleport system can be tricked into dropping your items at the same time that you spawn. So the items are dropped, but also kept on your hotbar at the same time. It's an immediate bannable offense. Ever try to catch a bubble? This super rare block is actually mined straight out of the water. Using this machine that dispenses water as you mine, Pushing the bubbles into the way of your silk touch pickaxe, you can get these bubbles as a block. You can even place them on dry land. This crazy glitch can be used for even more impossible blocks, like this block of water. If you try to mine the underwater plants with your silk touch pickaxe, you can end up with this. It looks like a pain, and when you set it down, it spills out like a bucket of water. Oh god, my head! Just kidding. This rare item is hard to get, but super fun. You need a creeper to get charged by lightning. Then, if they explode and kill other mobs around it, the mobs drop their heads as items. Wear the head, and it will take a lot longer for the mobs to even notice you. You can use water buckets to break your fall. But if you're in the nether and water isn't available, use powdered snow instead. In fact, if you lay powdered snow beforehand and lay a carpet over it, you can drop from any distance and you'll be completely safe. All the pros know that if you need dry sponge in a hurry, just hop into the nether and place it down. It dries instantly, way faster than using a furnace. Strongholds almost always have a massive library, so don't bother going through the trouble of making them yourself. If you want an enchanting table, just find a stronghold and you can set up right there. Need water but all you have is a wet sponge, get the water from the sponge by heating it in the furnace. Then replace the fuel with a bucket so when the sponge is dry, the bucket is filled with water. Most players beat the ender dragon by taking out all the crystals and then hitting it with a sword. But excuse you? I watched Dream back in the day and not only have I seen his face before he put the mask back on, but even I know that you can skip this process entirely by waiting for the dragon to perch and then using beds to blow it up. Take that, American military! Cactuses are able to destroy items when thrown at them, but they are the only block that can do this. Dropping an animal on some items from four blocks or higher will instantly destroy those items. Pretty cool. The invisibility potion is great for hiding from your friends or to sneak past mobs, but for some reason, villagers will still look at you, even if you're completely invisible. The same thing happens with enchanting tables, so if you're trying to spy on your friends, make sure a villager don't snitch on you. If the building you're breaking into is full of death traps, just stock up on totems of undying. It's way easier than trying to avoid everything. Just take the hit and keep on moving. Players will often have secret tunnels that lead far away to their stash. If you x-ray by crawling and pressing the slab into your face with a piston, you can seek out small separate rooms filled with blocks. Dig toward those because they're less likely to be well defended, and will have a corridor straight into the base. Use this secret arrow trick to fly long distances without an elytra or even a slow fall potion. All you need is a bow and arrow with a punch to enchantment. Shoot the lightest shot you can while running or jumping, and the arrow will hit you, launching you forward. This wall is watching you. Or at least it looks that way. You can put a dispenser behind a mangrove trapdoor in the center 
sense of depth creates this optical illusion that the wall is watching you wherever you go. Baby piglins will never become adults, so trap a few and you've got yourself a permanent team of gold-stealing miscreants. Make sure they don't steal your gold too. If you're dealing with slime blocks, just crouch. If you enchant your leggings with Swift Sneak 3, you'll actually go even faster than if you were to just walk on the slime blocks. Shoot enemies from the safety of a bunker by using dirt pass. They're actually one pixel shorter than regular blocks, so if you stand behind one and have a block above your head, you can see a slight gap between them, and can even shoot arrows through the gun. This other super hack can turn your regular vines into fruit-bearing plant life. Just put redstone ore behind the vines, and the color will shine through, giving a good breakup to all the green and brown. Put some berry bushes to fill out the space even more. There's a crazy looting place that lets you get the extra rewards of the looting enchantments even when the tool you're using isn't enchanted. If you have a soul with looting in your main hand, a regular bow in the other, enemies killed with the bow will give extra items. Everyone knows cats always land on their feet. Did you know that in Minecraft we also take no damage from a fall? This is based on cats' real world ability to survive crazy falls. Some have even fallen out of a plane without a parachute and live to tell the tale. Go beyond the end of the world with this command. It's a secret teleport destination that will put you on the other side of the world border. But be careful because the moment you pass that border, you'll be taking real damage. Put traps in XP farms. Nearly every server has one. So why not put a sensor beside it? So when someone comes for some valuable XP, the whole thing breaks open and they're overwhelmed and violent mobs hell-bent on revenge. Most servers ban you for making holes to the void, where people fall in and die. But what's worse is making someone fall to the void and catch them on a boat hanging in the void. They'll struggle to get back up, but they won't want to die and lose their items either. Make a wither in the server owner's house. Those withers can absolutely destroy almost any block in the game. So unsurprisingly, it's one of the fastest ways to wreak havoc and destroy all the hard work that the server owner has put in their beautiful home. It's common sense to chop down a whole tree rather than leaving it unfinished. But who needs common sense? Why not just keep chopping trees and leaving them all with just one block left? The world will be filled with these floating packs of leaves that will stay there forever. An even deeper secret comes from the creeper head. Use a creeper head in a firework recipe, an explosion will take the shape of a giant creeper's face. But some secrets are so deep we have to go back in time to get them. Stoey grass was patched out long ago, but if you make a world in the 1.16 version of Minecraft, get an enderman in the nether to pick up a snow-covered grass block and put it down, then take the map from the game files into a new world in the current version of Minecraft, that block will still be there. Don't mind it though, or it'll be gone forever. In the woodland mansion, there is an item you were never meant to see in survival. In Bedrock Edition Beta 1.16.0.57, a secret lava room in the woodland mansion would normally hide the diamond block, but this version would glitch out, showing the secret barrier block instead. So many rare finds are in old updates, including the most powerful of all. Load Minecraft Snapshot 22W13 one block at a time, and you will find an insane change. The Endermen spawn with random items in their hands, including the rarest of them all, a command block in a minecart. This only spawns 0.0001% of the time, and for good reason. If you can get the rare command block out and use it, you can use them to get Enderman to drop the end gateway block that is normally impossible to get in survival. Use this code in the command block, and Enderman will now have the chance to drop this endgame item Mojang never wanted you to have. Get a pumpkin or melon farm and use that to get emeralds like a pro. The villagers love that stuff, and will give you an emerald for pretty cheap. You can then use those emeralds to buy all sorts of things in return. It's so easy to get lost in the caves and tunnels, and making signs and landmarks every few steps can be tired. Some. Just place torches on the right side as you walk. Then when you want to go back, keep the torches on the left side and you'll go straight back the way you came. Press F3 to know there's a bastion nearby like a pro. The debug screen shows how many entities are on screen. But this includes entities that are hidden behind walls. If you make your FOV real small and look around in the nether, a high number of entities clustered together will probably be a bastion. In Minecraft Bedrock, zombified piglins have a very small chance to spawn into the other world when a nether portal is first lit, which can make for a very scary surprise. Some players, however, have capitalized on this to make overpowered piglin farms that give infinite gold and resources. When you load an arrow or firework rocket into a crossbow, it'll update the icon to your hotbar to let you know which one it has in it. But if you drop the crossbow on the ground, the crossbow no longer shows what item it has in it, at least until you pick it up again. So try not to drop your firework crossbow into a pile of normal ones. <laughs> okay, let's be honest, no one is doing that. A server owner can use Creative to build a house out of bedrock. Break through with the latest bedrock cracking machine. Using a piston, a trapdoor, some TNT, Obsidian and a lever, you can glitch the game to destroying the bedrock and letting you in. They say the safest base is a hidden one. So, how do you break in if you can't even find it? Look for the FPS drop. If you turn on the FPS counter using the settings on your PC or FN plus F3 on a Mac, you can
you can see how fast your game is running. If you're out in the wilderness, the FPS should be high. But if there's a bunch of entities nearby, like chess, players, or armor stands, the FPS will take a slight dip. That means the base is nearby. Start digging! This insane block placement glitch lets you climb invisible ghost blocks. If you swap a block into your offhand and place it at the same time, it will exist in the world but be invisible. You can climb walls without a trace. But even better, if you use slime blocks, it will launch you into the air, letting you scale tall towers at high speed. You can stack enchanted books with this secret exploit. Just put two books in a grindstone, and if the books are cursed, then the grindstone can't do anything to them. It just puts two books stacked together as a result. This illegal exploit makes you way stronger in the nether. Just hold up your shield while walking through the portal, and when you step out the other side, the game will assume you've always got it up, so you can sprint and fight while still blocking at the same time. Using ice to slide in a diagonal is near impossible, unless you use this simple trick. Place the ice in a diagonal pattern, and then fill the edges with water. The water will keep you centered, and you'll keep going as fast as ever. This cool design hack lets you create a seamless transition between dirt and stone. Just use glow light chin on coarse dirt, and it looks remarkably like stone that's emerging from dirt. It's a great middle point between the two. This genius hack shows that string can be great for a lot of things, including keeping your plants at the height that you want. Put the string above your bamboo or sugar cane, and you can keep that thing small forever. There are plants where you don't need string at all, and it's thanks to an item from last year. Now, certain vines can be snipped with shears, so they stop growing entirely. A secret trick you can use to make an atmospheric room is to let it be dark and only light up using redstone ore. They can act as a light, but only when activated, which includes stepping on them. It can light up a dark pathway in style. This milk is special. It was milked from a squid. That's because back in beta 1.2, squid could be milked just like cows. It was later taken out of the game, but modders all over the world have been desperately trying to put it back into the game. This mound of snow holds a secret. It's actually an igloo, and exactly 50% of the time, there's a secret trap door underneath, leading to a golden apple, a zombie villager, and a regular villager. If you cure the zombie villager, you've got yourself the makings of a brand new village. Invisibility is amazing, but it's not perfect. Wearing armor makes you more visible, but even without nothing on at all, bats and cats can see you clear as day. So if you see some bats freaking out about nothing, it might be another player sneaking up on you. It's super gross, but this baby panda can make a slime ball. All you have to do is wait for it to sneeze, and the gooey snot has a chance of coming out of the full slime ball ready to be used. Mess with their armor dispensers. Put hidden waterlogged blocks there and hidden lava, so when they try to interact with the dispenser, they're overwhelmed in lava that quickly turns into obsidian. They won't have a diamond pickaxe to break out either, since if they're looking for armor, they probably just spawned. Find a way to get the debug stick! It's a special stick that can only be given with a command or robbed from a dead player. Get the debug stick and start clicking on everyone's beds. These beds are now marked as occupied and can't be used. To be a real menace, crash the server! It's easy with a lag machine, using this really simple redstone system that can be made as big as you want. The bigger you make it, the more it'll lag, until finally the whole server will crash! But what if you're just lucky? If you're walking through the game and find this adorable little lamb, you might be the luckiest gamer alive. This pink lamb can naturally spawn, but it's so rare most players never see it. There's only a 0.0082% chance of spawning. You could fake that with die, but one secret mob you can't fake is a rare and exclusive brown panda. You have to find this super rare panda the hard way. One item Mojang never even intended to make is the fabled triple chest. It has only been recorded once in the entire history of Minecraft, in an old version of the game. In the abandoned mine, back when mine chests didn't spawn in minecarts, they could spawn next to a monster spawner's chest, making a fully functional triple chest. The high level secret that many players don't know exists is a conduit. This special beacon style item creates an underwater zone where you can never drown, or hurting any naturally hostile underwater mobs nearby. It's so hard to get though that it needs a heart of the sea, nautilus shells, and plenty of prismarine just to function at all. Use powdered snow to wall jump your way up a cliff. This works great in the nether, where water isn't available to scale cliffs. So have a bucket of powdered snow ready. You can place the snow against the wall, hop off it, and mid jump you can scoop it back into a bucket, and then place it again higher up. Keep going until you reach the top. If you need to find lush caves, look for azalea trees. These trees are easy to spot, with their weird windswept look, and they indicate that there is a lush cave directly below. So get digging! You don't need a furnace or smoker to cook your food, not anymore at least. As with a campfire, you can cook four pieces of food at once, basically for free! Put a hay bale underneath the campfire to give it a smoky flavor. Mob heads are extremely rare, but most players never even bother to collect them. Well, that changes today! Did you know that wearing a zombie head actually reduces the detection range by 50%, allowing you to blend in with them and live out your days as a zombie? I love brains! Did you know it's actually possible to ban yourself from a single player world? All you have to do is cram a bunch of weird text into a book, then fill an 
entire shulker box with them. The information is just too much for Minecraft to handle, so it'll just ban you. I'm not sure why you'd want to do this, but hey, it's possible. Curing a zombie villager takes forever, but what most people don't know is you can actually speed up this process. For whatever reason, placing beds and iron bars around the villager will actually speed up the curing process by about 4%, which sure isn't that much, but hey, every second counts. These walls are too thick. Better use a TNT cannon. Make an obsidian rectangle that's seven blocks long with an open end toward the wall. Add a block up on the left side here. Put a water block at the back and a slab at the front. Set TNT on the slab and up to but not including the water block. Then put two levers with redstone. One is for the TNT on the ground, the other for the slab TNT. Activate the first and watch them flow. Then before they explode, activate the other. It launches forward and smashes the base. Reload with TNT and do it again until you breach the walls. You can ignite TNT from miles away with this glitch. If you attach a fishing rod to something and walk into the nether, the game will glitch and your fishing rod will have infinite range. Use it to set off TNT next to the enemy base from as far away as you can and they'll never know it was you. If you run over and pretend to help, you can get into the base and take what you like. This base is covered in lava. Clear it with sand and scaffolding. Make a square of sand with a block square of sand in the corner. Each block will sink down and delete the lava in that space. Fill up to the surface so you can walk on it. Then delete the top block of that one extra sand in the corner. Replace it with scaffolding and right click on it to fill the rest of the lava. The scaffolding doesn't burn and deletes the lava. Take the sand block down and repeat the process until the base is revealed. If the base is in the air and you don't have elytra, make a man cannon instead. Put some obsidian around a ton of TNT in minecarts. If you have blast protection, a shield and stand on a higher level than the TNT, you can survive and still get launched way into the air. Hit yourself with punch arrows and you can get real distance onto that floating building. Spy on your friends with this illegal one-way wall that's see-through on one side. It's built with item frames that have been turned invisible with this command. Put custom map frames onto them to make it look like a wall on one side and it'll be invisible on the other. Try the most secret mechanism using this bizarre enderman glitch. If you trap one in a minecart or boat next to a wall, arrows still won't work on it. Sometimes I'll even pass right through the enderman and the wall. If you put a target behind that, you've now made a secret mechanism that's especially great for hidden doors. There's tons of secret actions you can do using the F keys on the top of the keyboard. Hold F3 and C and you crash the game. Tell your friends it's a fun visual glitch and watch them drop from the game as it crashes hard. They'll be off the server and you'll be in their secret stash of goodies. Everyone wants a secret underwater base, but will often forget where it is. Well, how about this genius hack that uses a magma bubble column? It'll drag you down to the right spot to activate a hidden door or redstone contraption, letting you into your own personal underwater home. This warped fungi is the key to this home with this new hack. You basically have to hold a strider hidden in the wall, sitting in a two-block space of flowing lava. If you hold out the warped fungi, the strider will walk up the lava to get it, activating the mechanism and opening the door. Then when you put the fungi away, the strider will slide back into place. One crazy Minecraft fact is that chests don't burn, even in lava. So if you want to hide your valuables, put them under a lava lake. If it's shallow enough, like one block deep, then you can access the chest while staying on dry land, and the lava will cover it completely. This mushroom is a light source. It may not look it, but the brown mushroom is generating the lowest light in the game. Light level one. Before glowberries, there might have been the only food that could glow. In fact, this is actually based on real mushrooms that glow in the dark. In the Java edition, you can use rail tracks to block mobs completely. Certain enemies like zombies and piglins will not cross the rails unless they're a phantom and fly over it. Check out this sick grappling hook made entirely in game. You just use a bunch of command blocks. It checks that you launch the fishing bobber, drags you toward it, removes the bobber when you reach it, and even stops you when you hit a wall for a perfect grappling hook experience. Mojang has given themselves the power to ban people and hate when you have items with dangerous names. If they're rude, illegal, or named after real world guns, Mojang will ban you completely. You're in someone else's server, so why not advertise your own server and entice people to join it? It'll make the server owner so mad as you endlessly pull people away from their precious world. Get this invisible block. No, it's not a barrier block, but actually block 36, a glitched piston that was duplicated using an end crystal and this machine. Put an item frame on it and it goes invisible. Since it's a glitch block, when you stack sand on them, the sand stays there, but still acts like it's falling, so people can fall through it. A perfect invisible trap. Why not skip the middleman and just hack the server owner's account? That way you don't have to wait for a ban, you can just do it yourself. Some items have only existed in a single update, including mad experiments like this special little chicken that actually lays diamonds instead of eggs. They don't taste good in an omelette though, and the chickens have a bad habit of exploding. One item you were never supposed to get is bedrock. But if you put end crystals around the end portal after killing a dragon, and then quickly explode them with a click before the dragon resummons, there's a slight chance a piece of that bedrock will fall through the portal and end up as a usable block at world spawn. Check out this nether portal. 
or a tethered nautil? This reverse nether portal requires this insane contraption of update suppressor rails that lets you destroy pieces of the frame without this area of the portal breaking. Use water to break the inner section and you can fill that with obsidian. Then break the rest of the frame and you get this mind-bending result. Pros know to never use lava to get rid of your items. It's dangerous and there's no second chances. Instead, use a cactus. Make a crush-shaped hole, cover it, put a trapdoor above and a button above that. Now you can throw your items on the trapdoor. If you throw the wrong item, you can just pick it up again. Then when you're ready, press the button and watch the items get deleted by a cactus. Hauling around a bunch of potions can fill up your inventory real quick. So instead, use arrows. They can stack. And if you move forward fast enough and look slightly up, you can hit yourself with your own arrow. You get the same effect while not wasting space with potions. Getting into and out of buildings can be done at high speed and with no trace left behind using an ender pearl. Run to the wall and throw the pearl down at the corner where the wall and floor meet. Keep moving forward and you'll get to the other side. Pros use entity cramming for a lot of things. This is the act of putting way too many entities in the same single block space. Anything in there starts dying. And if you put a hopper beneath that, it's a very easy way to farm beef without huge contraptions. If you think placing walls in the nether is impossible, well, you're wrong. On this specific Minecraft snapshot, Mojang messed up and accidentally allowed players to bring water into the nether. If you place a piece of glow lichen in water and shear the glow lichen and silk touch, placing this piece in the nether would cause water to start flowing everywhere, allowing me to fulfill my dreams and create a water paradise. Okay, just joking, this is a texture pack. Foxes can hold items in their mouths, but they won't just hold the item. After a while, they'll attempt to eat it if it's a food item. This means foxes are able to teleport when eating a chorus fruit, and if they eat something like a suspicious stew, they'll actually gain the effect from that as well. <laughs> just about everyone knows that sticks are a terrible fuel source when it comes to smelting items, but if you pour and that's all you have, I got you covered. Use a crafting table to turn them into ladders, which will make your sticks much more effective as a fuel source. A secret base can be hidden underwater, and it can be very hard to see. The easiest way to find it is to get in a boat and do this weird vision trick. When in the boat on the water, if you go into third person view, you can angle the camera to just about touch the water surface. The vision will glitch and show you everything under the water without that underwater filter, making any odd structure or entity easy to find. Watch out for pitfall traps! If the floor disappears under you and the trap is revealed, do this crazy flying glitch. To do it, have the game in windowed mode. And when the floor falls away, right click on the window bar at the top. You'll freeze in the air! You'll need a fellow home invader with you to put a block under you. So when you click on the game to unfreeze, you'll land safe and sound. Trap avoided! If the floor of your friend's base is only slab, then dig a tunnel under the ground of the building. Put a single water source block to have a little water flow through. If you ride a boat in that one block space, the water will bob you up through the floor and even let you interact with objects inside, like the button to open the door. Boats are amazing and can be used to break into buildings in a lot of ways. Put one on the roof and you can phase through by jumping in and out of the boat with perfect timing. Your friend might put an elder guardian near their base, giving you mining fatigue, making it way harder to break blocks to get in. That's why you should always bring buckets of milk. But if you don't have that, set up a bed spawn nearby and kill yourself! Mining fatigue is a five minute cooldown, so you'll have plenty of time to break in and loot the place before it can hit you with it again. Behold the hollow! It was an early version of the warden and was scrapped for being way too scary. But since it was a functional prototype, you can still find references to it in the game's code. This illegal technique lets you put lava floating above water without either of them touching. All you have to do is put a sign in the water block and the lava can't burn it, but won't flow into it either. Create crazy impossible water features just by using honey and pistons. Put them in this setup and the water will be diverted like this. Use this to make the water flow as you like and destroy all the blocks you placed. The water will keep that shape. This genius hack lets you recreate the nether in the overworld, including totally not zombified piglins. To do this, you simply replace regular dirt with blocks and entities from the nether. But piglins zombify in the overworld, so disguise that with a piglin head forced onto them using a dispenser. Include some armor and weapons to hide the rest of their body too. If you want to hide your valuables, don't put them on a chest out in the open. Hide a barrel behind that chest, and you can still access it without people noticing it's there. There was actually a secret red dragon that almost made it into the game. The plans were dropped in 2014, but Mojang has said that if they ever brought it back, it would come from the rarest item in the game, the dragon egg. This lava is trapped! The pressure plate technically fills that space with stone, so the lava can't flow into it. Use it as a decoration in your house? It's totally safe, until someone decides to break it. This secret is one you've seen and never even noticed. The title screen Minecraft has a 10,000 to 1 chance of changing the spelling to Minceraft. Circles are illegal in Minecraft, but with command blocks, you can make one with an armor stand that rotates. This spawn stands as it rotates, with sand blocks on their head. Use a command to face the center stand and make the stands invisible for a perfect circle. Find out if the server owner has a pet, then find an animal that looks just like it in the game.
name. Tag it with the same name, then taunt the server owner as you kill the pet in cold blood. It's an awful thing to do and will definitely get you banned. Why not go further? Find their real pet and kill it in front of them. Though you'll probably get banned from society for that one. <laughs> See you in jail. This special book will get you insta banned. If you fill a book with text, get a bunch of books filled with that text and then put it in a shulker box. The moment anyone opens that box, the server overloads and the player is instantly banned. Destroy the rarest item in the game. If you get into a server early, speed run killing the ender dragon and get that dragon egg first. Chuck it into the void and nobody will ever get the egg ever without cheating. Hey, that's illegal! This impossible end portal doesn't have a frame. To get this, build a portal, hide a mushroom one block to the side and three blocks below. Bone meal it and the mushroom will grow and delete the frame. Do this on all sides and the portal will exist on its own. Just make sure you don't accidentally walk in. Uh, I, I, good dragon. Now this definitely should be impossible. This rare style of lava block is actually a weird glitch. Where if you trap some lava, use a redstone block, piston and slime to break the walls without letting the lava out, destroy the redstone, the piston, then the rest, you end up with a lava block that floats in midair. You'll need a lot of luck for a bunch of these rare items, so better get a rabbit's foot to help just in case. But they're rare too. They drop only a fraction of the time when hunting these cute little bunnies. Sorry fellas, it's for the content. Die! This rare item is a lot more dangerous. Get a bottle and scoop up the dragon's breath in the middle of a fight with the ender dragon. Are villager trades and fair to you? Then break the lectern, smash it to pieces and then put a new one in. The villager loses their job and has to reapply. And when they do that, they get whole new trades. Once you like a trade, make the trade and it will get locked in permanently for that villager. Have you got a pet zombie or skeleton? Pros know the best way to keep your undead army alive is by giving them hats. This blocks out the sunlight so they don't burn, even in a desert. Want to break tough walls? Well, pros know that if you grow a mushroom using bone meal, it will literally delete almost any block it grows into. Make sure it's not exposed to the sun though. The fastest way to make a big hole in the ground is a TNT duplicator. Keep this design high above the ground because it's going to be dropping TNT down and blowing up everything below it until you tell it to stop. The wither is definitely not the friendliest of mobs, but if you've always wanted to befriend the guy, there's a way. A secret April Fool snapshot called the Love and Hugs update. Oh, so cute. Turns the wither into a friendly pink mob that actually heals everything around it. Who knew he had such a soft side? I love you, Withy. That's his name. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but amethyst clusters and geodes actually produce light. It's not a very bright light, but if you wanted to create a bar with ambient lighting, it actually works pretty well. If you're looking for a creative way to get lots of colorful wool for your survival world, one of the best places to look is actually uh, woodland mansions. As it turns out, these mansions can have up to 13 different colors of wool blocks inside of them. Just make sure you don't bring shears, though. Dad! Uh oh, shulker sensors have been placed all over this minefield. One noise, and it all goes up. You could sneak by, but you can easily get caught. So you've got to move fast. The answer is to jump and sneak. If you constantly jump the entire way and press the sneak button, just as you hit the ground each time, you can go fast and stay quiet enough for the sensors not to notice you. This next trick will let you fly up to high buildings without TNT or elytra. The trick is to get your own pet shulker. You need to catch them in a boat or minecart that leads to the end gate out of the end city and eventually through the main end portal into the overworld. Row them away in a boat toward the target base and let yourself get cursed with levitation. You'll fly up into the sky and with a good enough levitation, it won't matter how high the base is. Use subterfuge. If your friend is in need of a certain mob, like a particular villager or perhaps the ultra rare brown panda, get one for yourself and offer to bring it to their base. You can lead it over and you'll get access to the base as you bring the creature into its new home. Once inside, steal as many items as you can. It's fair payment for such a rare panda. An endangered species, you know. Fencing has been used to cover this entire opening. There's no way in without breaking it. Unless you get a trap door. The crawl mechanic actually changes your hitbox. And with a fence like this, if you set up a trap door right next to it and make yourself crawl, you'll be halfway through the fence already. Just keep moving through and you'll slide right in without breaking a single block. And finally, there's no point getting in if you get caught. So try this teleporting escape plan. If you make a bubble column with an open trap door and a redstone torch at the top. You can throw an ender pearl in, and when the torch is activated, the door will close. You'll be teleported to the pearl. Attach a clock mechanism like this, and you can give yourself enough time to break in, do your dirty deeds, and disappear even if you get caught. This weird secret will let you have a pet chicken without having to deal with any eggs filling up your space. The trick is to find a chicken that spawned with a zombie on top. Those chickens never lay eggs, and so they work perfectly as a pet. They're way better than dogs too. This secret lets you drop from high places without using water, so your friends will be super confused how you survived. Berry bushes actually catch you when you fall from any height, and baby berry bushes don't even hurt you, allowing you to escape completely untouched. A new skulk vein can look pretty weird, but if you put it in on a diamond block, it actually looks like a color swap of magma blocks that you can use for mind-bending patterns. This secret to getting dragon's breath is really dangerous. If you go right up to the end of dragon's mouth, you can get the breath directly. It's difficult, but way faster than just picking it up off the floor. You can create a wood 
house filled with lava. That's totally safe. Barrels don't burn in lava, and they're also the size and function of a full block, so you can use them as part of the wall construction. Add a lava lake to freak out your friends because they will not burn. Another way to hide things is with a smoke screen. Put a secret stone above a campfire, and the smoke will billow up, disguising the gray button with the gray clouds so that nobody will know it's even there. Use it to hide a secret base entrance. Hide a lever using a dirt path. They're a pixel shorter than regular dirt blocks, and so make a one pixel gap when set against them. You can hide anything down in that space, including a lever for a secret entrance that's almost invisible. The fastest way to get home is with an ender pearl stasis chamber. It's a fun technique where a pearl is kept hovering in a bubble elevator. If you connect it to a daylight sensor, when night comes, the bubble stream stops, and the pearl lands, teleporting you back home. This is a miracle. End portal frames have a 10% chance of spawning already filled with an eye. Having all of them filled only happens one in a trillion times. Did you know about Minecraft's secret F commands? Everyone knows about pressing F for all that info. But did you know about F3 plus B that shows everyone's hitboxes? What happens if I press F3 plus C? Ah! Use a VPN. Microsoft hate when people try to bend the rules, so they will ban you if they find out you're using a VPN. You can use Mojang as a weapon. Go into a server and report everyone in the server to be banned. It might even work. Getting innocent people banned for no reason. But if the server owners don't ban you, Mojang will catch on and ban you for false reports. Rule PvP with this evil cheat that will definitely get you banned. If you can access commands, turn your armor invisible with this command. That'll teach them for giving you so much power. This villager is so rare, they literally can't spawn on their own. There are no swamp or jungle villagers normally, so you have to get one zombified. Stick him in a boat, take him away to the swamp or jungle and cure him there. Ta-da! The new look is very snazzy. An enderman that's immune to water? Endermen hate water, but if an enderman spawns in a cauldron full of water, they're absolutely fine. Let's hope they don't learn this trick, as they're already a major problem. Deep in the ancient cities is a rare and super useful Swiss sneak enchantment. It is only available in loot chests in ancient cities and can speed up your sneaking speed. Get lucky enough to find a level 3 book and you're going the same speed as your regular walking. I am speed! Get fortune on all of your tools as soon as you can. A fortune 3 hoe can get 5 potatoes from a single plant. Flints can come from every block of gravel and diamonds are plentiful wherever you go. You're wasting resources the longer you don't have fortune 3. Fill your pool instantly by using this pro strat using ICE towers and weird physics. Basically, two water source blocks with a gap between them turns that gap into a source block. So if you line an area with ice block towers with a space between them on two sides, then change them to water, they will fill the pool entirely with source blocks almost instantly. Respawning in the nether needs a respawn anchor, but it only has a certain amount of charge. It used to be that you had to manually recharge the anchor, but now you can simply dispense glowstone into it, and it will work. Make this setup filled with as much glowstone as you can get, and you can die a hundred times and not lose your respawn. Speaking of mansions, vindicators will stop at nothing to murder entire villages worth of villagers, but they're not completely heartless. Even though they're happy to kill tons of adult villagers, vindicators will actually refuse to target baby villagers. But that isn't going to slide in my book, because there's actually a way around this. If you're on Bedrock Edition, naming a Vindicator Johnny will turn him into a psychopath, and he'll go on a rampage, regardless of age. That's more like it! Cave noises have been the number one enemy of my soiled underpants. But did you know you can actually predict exactly when these will happen? Simply press F3 and wait for the mood percentage to hit 100%, and when it does, the sound will play. Or just turn your sound off. I'm still not taking the risk. When it's snowing outside, snow layers will pile up on top of all the blocks around you. Sometimes even stacking up to the size of a full block. But for some reason, there are two blocks in the entire game that this doesn't happen to. Both ice and packed ice are immune to snowfall, and even trying to manually place them on them doesn't work. This isn't the case with blue ice though, even though they're almost the exact same. The warden is one of the toughest enemies in the game, but you can ignore it completely by just using wall. If the warden is spawning, cover it in wall blocks deafens any sound and blocks his view, so it can't see or hear you. Hide secret frogs in little crevices by placing down a mesh of halls. The frogs are so small that they can fall right in, and no amount of hopping will let them out again. This illegal entrance is completely invisible, and only one block tall. Normally, you would need a trap door to get low enough to enter this hole, but a trident actually lets you do the same thing, and if you use a custom map to cover the hole, it's basically invisible. Here's a cool hack for storage space and style. Putting barrels at the head of your bed gives the look of a headboard, and that will be stylish in most homes. Plus, since they're barrels, you can put your valuables in there. Trees can look great, but this lets you decide how they grow. If you want it tall with no leaves pushing out until it's above your house, put blocks around your sapling up to the height you want. It'll grow into that shape just like a real tree. Herd your animals of speed with this dangerous hack. Put a block of water in their habitat so if they escape, you can set them on fire! They'll run back to the water, and you can close the gate on them with no hassle at all. This secret hack has been around for as long as you could till dirt, but it rarely gets used. Till dirt 
doesn't carry redstone signals, while regular dirt does. When you till the dirt, it breaks the signal and can activate a secret door. Awesome hidden trap to spring on your farming friends. Behold, the mighty villager on his chicken steed. To get this secret villager, you have to find a baby villager riding a chicken. If you cure that baby, it will eventually grow up and become an adult villager on a chicken that works just like a normal villager. But you can attach a lead or lure them around with seeds. Most shulkers are easy to spot, but if you use the summon command, the shulker will be dyed a different color. They now look just like a dyed shulker box instead. You could replace your friend's box with one to freak them out when they try to get their stuff. This zombie is completely brain dead. That's because in this 1.9 snapshot, zombies spawn with the no AI tag set to one, meaning nothing was going on inside their heads. Weird stuff started happening too, like sometimes I would float off in the air. Everyone knows Jeb, the developer from Mojang. So pretend to be him in a server and people will be falling over themselves to be nice to you. You're a celebrity. Use that power to get items and even money until Jeb finds out and bans you personally. Everyone loves a good water feature, so steal all the water using sponges. They suck everything up so fast and are really easy to dry so you can take all the water in the game. But don't worry, the fish don't need it. See, they're jumping for joy. Rain arrow hell upon the world with a machine gun. Set up this repeating redstone pattern, then attach a bunch of dispensers filled with thousands of arrows. If the sky filling up with enough arrows to blot out the sun won't get you banned, the sheer amount of entities could make the server crash. Impersonate the server owner by getting an account with a nearly identical name. Then when you enter that server, start causing mayhem. Break people's stuff and use terribly foul language. Do this enough and everyone will hate the owner until they realize you're impersonating them and ban you. This is so rare it only exists in one update and you can take it with you outside the game. In the 20W14 infinite snapshot, there is a secret folder in the game files called nothing to see here move along. Inside are two sounds, banana.ogg and bananana.ogg. There are two versions of this sound, which is a tribute to the Sega logo. Have you ever found a music disc in a chest? Do you want to find them all? They're actually a very rare item. Most can be dropped by a creeper that was killed by a skeleton, but three of them can only be found in ancient cities, dungeons, or mansions, and one of them can be made by gathering nine disc fragments. Get the whole collection and play that music loud! Speaking of ancient cities filled with rare loot, Minecraft 1.20 added these new buildings in the deep dark biome way underground. They're filled with new threats and new treasures, like the silence armor trim. This armor trim only appears in chests, and only 1.2% of the time. Hope you get lucky. You might use TNT to blow a hole in the ground, but that doesn't work underwater unless you use this cool trick. Set a TNT block down, then put a gravity block like sand on top of it. When activated, the TNT doesn't count as a block anymore and the sand will fall into it, making the game think the TNT isn't underwater at all. If it's not underwater, it can destroy terrain just fine. Water logging is amazing because pros know how to exploit it. Because TNT doesn't work underwater, that means if your chest is waterlogged, it counts as underwater and so is immune to explosions. Honey blocks are slightly smaller than regular blocks, and pros have learned that you can use them for all sorts of things. Put them in a wall and you can climb a sheer rock face like a mountain goat. Surround a water column and you can still use the water without exposing it to the world. Don't waste your bone meal on sea pickles. Pros know that you should only use bone meal when you have your sea pickle on a living coral block. Then when you use the bone meal, more and more will show up around you. I bet you didn't know that after using a sponge, if you put in a furnace and use a lava bucket as fuel, you will receive not only your dry sponge in return, but the water bucket it and the fuel slot will be filled right back up with water. Nice attention to detail, Mojang. Most players know that there are two types of cows, regular cows and mushrooms. But what most people don't know is that there's actually a secret hidden third type of cow. During a thunderstorm, if a mushroom is struck by lightning, it'll turn into the ultra rare brown mushroom. This special type of mushroom can give you suspicious stew instead of the boring old mushroom stew that a regular mushroom gives. Gross. For some reason, when turtles are struck by lightning, they turn into wooden balls? What the? What is this, Mojang? Almost everybody knows that sunflowers in Minecraft always face east. But there's actually another plant that does this kind of similarly. Pumpkin stems will always point northwest. This weird glitch lets you land safely from any height, even in the nether. It doesn't use any water, just powdered snow under a carpet. It slows you to a stop with no damage at all, and it works in the nether too. You can actually walk through walls with this secret ender pearl exploit. Pearls can actually teleport you into the wall and by walking forward, you'll come out on the other side. You'll take damage from the pearl, but if you have enough health, you can sneak anywhere without breaking a single block. But if you want to know how to see through walls wherever you want, this glitch requires a speed 2 potion and your FOV set to Quake Pro. Then if you run along the wall, you'll be able to see on the other side, showing all kinds of hidden secrets. Placing lava underwater is illegal, but you can actually make your own underwater lava trap just by using a cauldron filled with lava instead. Use this for a lava trap your friends would never expect. This soft act let you sound with your surroundings. Wall can actually be used to block sounds from getting to a skulk sensor, which is great if you only want it noticing people breaking into your house. Cobblestone generators can
can be a pain with the risk of making obsidian. But mangrove roots save you from that struggle in a crazy hack. Waterlogged mangrove roots count as a water source block, but it doesn't flow, so the water won't touch the lava, meaning obsidian won't get made, but you'll get cobblestone all day. Daylight sensors can be used in all sorts of genius hacks, including this grandfather clock that actually tells the time. The sensor can detect the gradual change in lights depending on the time of day and will send signal updates based on that. Connect that to a bell and you've got a countdown to nightfall. This honey block hack makes a great conveyor belt, as the blocks are pushed around with pistons in a circle. You can put armor stands or even loose items on that honey, and it will carry it around. It's been used for armor sets and even for a sushi bar. Ride any creature you want! The ride commands lets you or anything you want ride on top of any other creature, such as this bee, so I can fly without even needing a lightro. Get a whole squad of bees and play fly to the bumblebees as you descend upon your enemies. Ever wanted to feel what it's like to be a shulker? Crawl down into a one block space with a shulker block underneath you. When you open the box, then close it again, you'll end up inside the box. Ah, let me out! This killer rabbit is extinct. Back drawing version 1.8, there was a very rare chance that the killer bunny would spawn and attack the player. You could still breed the bunny and create more killers too. The model even had blood on his mouth in some versions. This secret trick to survive anything without any items. There's a million ways to avoid damage using special blocks, armor, or potions. But if you have nothing, exit the game just before you take damage. In LAN or single player games, when you load back in, the damage is ignored. Threaten real life violence against a server owner. That's a crime in Minecraft and in real life that will definitely get you banned. Trust me, I would know. People say you should plant a tree to save the planet. So why not plant as many trees as you can? Flood the place with saplings on every block of dirt and bone meal them to make a mega forest so thick you have to bring out the axes just to walk to the farm. Create chaos with a witch spawner. Build this village breeding station and when the children are born, they'll be funneled down under a lightning rod. Once lightning strikes, they'll all be turned into witches to be let loose on the server. And it will keep happening forever! Or at least until you get banned and your spawner is destroyed. Invite death squads! If you can get new people onto the server, bring the biggest, baddest gamers you know as death squads against your enemies. If anyone crosses you, bring your cronies for a beatdown until they get fed up and ban you. Keep your mobs in check or maintaining your aesthetic. Do you hate the look of fences or trapdoors? Simply cover the floor of your pen in honey. And you can then use any block at all to act as a fence. The honey makes sure the mobs won't jump out. It also works on you though, so be careful. A lot of pros do six speedruns, and one of the best ways to speedrun the Ender Dragon is to kill it with beds. But making a bed can take time, so why not just steal them from the local village? You're a dragon slayer. You need it more than they do. Protect your villagers. If you rely on them for trades, then they deserve the best protection. And sometimes a golem isn't enough. Simply dispense armor upon them, and they will wear it, including those with thorn enchantments. Dirt and grass blocks appear to be basically the same, but something you might not have noticed this is that grass blocks actually take a tiny bit longer to mine than dirt blocks. The same is also true for stone and cobblestone. Even though they seem to be the same thing, cobblestone takes just a little more time to mine. Bet you didn't know that. You can actually equip villagers with armor by shooting it onto them with a dispenser. You won't see the armor appear on the villager, but they'll get all the effects from it, including not just the increased defense, but all the enchantments as well. This farmland has no water, and yet it's still hydrated. That's because blocks don't need to be connected to water to get the effects. Hide the water behind map squares, and people will call the police because that is illegal! Behold my lava container! It's completely made of wood, but trapdoors don't catch fire, which is definitely broken because you can use them to hold a free-flowing lava block like magic! Lava can be a decoration, but if there's any empty block above it, it makes a lot of noise. Avoid this by putting string on top. You still get to see it, but it's as quiet as a mouse. Works great to silence certain traps, too. Glow light chin is used for all sorts of creative hacks, such as this carpet balcony that looks great and glows to light up a restaurant while keeping deadly mobs from spawning. This icy hack lets you build an ice rink super fast in the desert. Most people see frost walker boots as mostly pointless because you need to be moving and the ice melts really quickly. However, if you build an ice lake underground, the sun can't get to it and you can create a winter wonderland under the Sahara. Duplicate end portals endlessly with this trick. You need to make a world in 1.19 Java edition and then update it to 1.20. If you place an end block tower on the exit portal, once you kill the dragon or place an ender crystal, a duplicate end portal portal will be spawned. Back in 1.14, you can apply multiple different protections on the same armor piece. Stack all sorts of protections to create the ultimate armor, and then update your game so you can have an illegally strong outfit. This weird villager secret can give infinite emeralds. When you cure a zombie villager, any trade you do with them will have a discount. If you cure them multiple times, it will keep going down, and you can end up with weird prices, like getting three books for two emeralds, which you can sell back three books for three emeralds, getting you a one emerald profit. Go nuke the server using slime blocks, pistons, detectors, and a minecart. Build a flying TNT duplicator just like this one and watch it 
trundle ominously over the server, dropping bombs with every step. Leave no player alive and no building left standing! Use this secret trick to see players through walls. Pressing F3 and A refreshes all visuals and will show entities first for a split second. Spam it and you can track people down to hunt and kill them, just like I'm gonna do right now! <gasps> Uh-oh, I said that all too loud. This speedy hack lets you mine out a large area of stone incredibly quickly so you can focus on making your underground base. All you have to do is put down some moss, use bone meal, and the moss replaces all the stone around it while leaving the precious metals like diamonds and iron. If you dig it out with a stone hoe, it goes almost immediately. Banners aren't just good to show your colors. They can irritate metal in this crazy hack. With the right designs and placement, banners can look like sheet metal. Perfect for builds designed to look like big industrial machines. This huge building is watching! See, if you put this banner design behind the trapdoor, the sway animation on the banner will make it emerge outward, looking like it's opening and closing its eyes. This fancy chair has secret storage compartments filled with food, perfect for lazing around. The key is that the decorative layer is actually a traveler's llama. The llama itself has been turned invisible and has storage boxes attached to it. It's everything you need from a comfy chair. Let your villagers get zombified. When they trade with you, they set the prices and will give you discounts if they like you. The best way to get one on your side is secure them of zombification. You you can even do this multiple times for dirt cheap prices. Snow and powdered snow look almost identical, but pros can tell the difference. Powdered snow will never have an extra layer of snow on top, plus they have a slightly different texture to them, showing more varied shades of white and blue. If you're overwhelmed with hostile mobs, just use an elytra and some rockets. If you fly high up enough, the mobs will reach the despawn range and disappear, being replaced with new mobs that won't know you're there and might be a lot easier to handle. Oh wait, I forgot my elytra at home. Quick, subscribe before I die! Sneak up on your friends while sprinting full speed with this trick. If you move to the absolute edge of a block so that the middle of your screen is above the next block over, the game will behave like you're on that block. If the block is empty, then when sprinting, you'll cause no noise or particles. There's a secret tech to throwing splash potions that make them last longer. The game tracks how much time the potion was flying through the air and extends how long the potion effects last. So don't just throw a potion on the ground, throw it into the air to get the most out of it. This house is on fire, but these slabs are completely unharmed. That's because they're made with the new petrified oak slabs. They look like oak, but petrified means they are like stone. They don't catch fire, you mine them with a pickaxe. And to make drum beats when put on a note block. Redstone works great, but it's a pain to mine it, so why not use leaves instead? This secret exploits the fact that leaves need to update based on what's around them. So by using leaves and wood, you can create machines that don't use any redstone at all. Become the most efficient miner in the game with swift sneak. It doesn't just improve your crouch speed, but also your crawl speed. So at one block tall, you can just dig straight forward without having to make space for your bulky body. And if you're ever left with a ton of wet sponges for whatever reason, don't dry them in a furnace. Instead, take them to the nether where they'll dry out instantly in the heat. Then you can use an enchanted hoe to pick them up super fast and get straight back to 